Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Watson. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. On the ground, this is Lamar Miller. He's got the first down here inside the 30. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back-to-back. -back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. And good downhill running. He's got six yards down to the 13. All right, Brandon, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. On second down, it's Miller. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. It's a 10-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. They'll try to punch it in with Miller. And he's in for the score. Touchdown, Texans. A three-yard touchdown run as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. 23 yards, the final tally. I got you. Right, 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 right. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. It gets by him, and now a little daylight. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size, you can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Flushed out right. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. 41 the mic. 41 the mic. Check, check, check. Hey, 57, 57. Mahomes again here on second and 10. And he's got it. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Chiefs touchdown. 
two yards on the touchdown there. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Butker on for the PAT. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And pretty good field position here. He's out of bounds right at the 35. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Watson. He finds Hopkins complete. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And the Texans first down. That's the end of the first quarter. Through one quarter, 14-7, our 14, score. Seven. Back Back-to-back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Watson going to give this one to Miller. He'll get about four here, down to the 43-yard line. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. To throw on second and six, Watson. It's complete to Hopkins. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, they brought the pressure, and that meant man coverage behind him, so he's still able to complete the pass. Even as he took the hit, and that's what you have to do because I was just talking with a coach the other day, and he said, look, it's not always going to be pretty back there. You're going to have to give me completions. Even when you're taking some hits, sometimes you have to be your own blitz control, for lack of a better term. Got to make completions, step up and make those throws, and he did that. Second down now. It's Miller. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. some room to work. Give him 17 on the pick up there, and the Texans also get a new set of downs. So that's what that elbow in my ribs was all about. You thought they were going to throw the ball as well. Absolutely. I think everybody thought they were throwing the football. Caught him off guard. Yeah, I'm telling you, when you have the courage to make that type of a play call, a lot of times you actually get rewarded. Now Watson. It's complete to Fuller. A gain of six there on first. Yeah. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. To throw is Watson. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. And the return won't go anywhere. They'll be back deep in their own territory at the two-yard line. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. To throw, it's Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll take this one up to about the six-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. A little more room here on second and six from the six. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. to seven. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout. 
And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Fans, a reminder, I have a note card here that says ad-lib halftime preview. So I guess let's do just that as we'll hand things over to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando when this one reaches halftime. Did I do okay? You did great. Not a bad job. Hey. Uh, you know, writing down your ad -libs. If you print it, I'm going to read it. I'm Brandon Gauden. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And all the way up to the 49. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Off the draw, here's Williams. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. Not quite the success they had last play. This one goes for three yards. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. From just shy of midfield, Mahomes steps away to his left. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 30. Brandon, I'm not going to tell him that you called him old in our pregame meeting, but this guy has been around a long time. If there's a trick in the book, he knows it. He probably even wrote a few chapters, and this is what he's always had, and that's a nose for the football. He's able to come away here with the interception. They'll run with Miller. Lamar Miller. Touchdown, Houston. Lamar Miller with his second touchdown here in this first half. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. And with that carry, he's already over 100 yards here in the first half. And partner, you know exactly what he's saying to his teammates right now, right? Especially to the play caller. Give me the ball. Again, <laughs> and again, and again. And again. It's not that heavy, sir. I'll take it. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And we're under a minute to go here in what's been an even first half all tied up. Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple completions, just string them together, could get in the field goal range. Let's see what happens. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Gary and Conley, the one to bring him down. On second and nine, Mahomes. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds near the 30. In fact, right on the 30. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Mahomes now 7 of 10 here in this first half, and he's got a first and 10. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. Forced out to his left. Gets this one to Hill. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. This will be spotted just shy of midfield, a 59-yard attempt. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down, two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. This will be taken short. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. Let's go. 
The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game, we'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Gotta wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan's showing you. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. A shotgun snap for Watson. He finds his target, Fuller. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Give them 17 on the pick up there, and the Texans also get a new set of downs. A first down carry now for Miller. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Ten yards there, good enough for a Texan first down. So now first and ten in Chiefs territory at the 46. Lamar Miller. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. On second down, here's Miller. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Watson now to throw. And a catch made by Hopkins. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Give him a couple on the catch at second and eight. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Here's Watson. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Really nice play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball, but for the guys on the offensive line, they're doing a nice job of trying to protect their passer. But when a guy hops in the air and goes airborne to try and knock one away, it's difficult because you can't reach out and grab him. That'll be a holding penalty. So all you're trying to do is make some type of a play on him, make some type of contact to try and get his arms out of the sky. And with the play clock reading four, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. They go back to the ground now with Miller. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. He loses four, and it brings up fourth. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. Well, they don't get a touchdown here on the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Second and five now. Mahomes. Got his man. It's Williams. Four yards on the pickup. And that'll bring up a third and one. 
I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Check. Easy, 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 easy. Hot, hot. Jim, 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 Jim. Check the backer, check the backer. Mahomes to throw on third and one. Flush to his right. And this is caught. That's Watkins. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Give him 30 yards there. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. First and 10 at the 33 yard line. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Being chased out left. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. And now offensively, it's third and ten, and I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller is thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. First down for the Chiefs, solid chunk of yardage, 17 on the play. They fake the give, now Mahomes. Buying time to his left. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Mahomes now to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey there to make the grab. And the Chiefs are going to jump back in front. Extra point right down the middle. And that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they've got to make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Now it's Watson. That's caught by his tight end, Jordan Akins. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Now Miller, he's had a big workload here tonight. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. One score down, here we go. 
They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Whistles now in a timeout defensively. So a wise move as they'll use the first of their timeouts to force one more play before the two-minute warning. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. I can't believe they even let you play. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On first down, Miller. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And it'll be second and 12. At the 41-yard line. They'll run it again with Miller. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Give them 17 on the pickup there, and the Texans also get a new set of downs. First down, Texans. Now a 20th carry of the game for Lamar Miller. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. So maybe just a momentary setback on what's been a great drive so far, but second and 13 here. He's back to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Hopkins. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Watson with a give to Miller. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ballgame. Now Watson. Rolling to his right. Now a desperation. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Bashad Breland. And with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And they've got this one in hand. No timeouts remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And it's incomplete. They're still throwing to the very end, but now this game is over. So this one in the win column for Kansas City, and they were spurred on by a strong performance.